Hi. In this video, we're going to show you the beginnings of making folds or dynamic surfacing in garments. So we're going to use a swatch as an example. And here's a finished one. So let's pop this flat shape into edit mode. And then we're going to grab the um, edge cut tool and start cutting edges. And notice that the edges that we're cutting is originating from one point and then fanning out. So we're just going to cut four edges here and simply push and pull. And then kind of play around with the spacing depending on what type of fabric you would like to sketch out and kind of emulate. And there you go. You have a swatch that looks like it's pinned up to a wall. So let's talk more about how we do that into a garment. Now what we're going to do is fan out, like I mentioned, fan out the edges only after we identify the highest point of the body. And we're going to show you with this little schematic here. I'm going to delete this swatch. So the schematic shows the origin point as a circle right there. And we're going to place that on the highest point of the body, which is the chest kind of sticking out. And then as you see, the straight lines represent the edges that we use the edge cut tool to make. And here in the sleeve, we're identifying the lowest part because it's being pinched underneath the arm. As, as you see here in the back too, where here's the, here's the uh, shoulder blades. And again, the edges are all fanning out from the origin fold point. And here in the back, you see the edges fanning out. So as you see, it's a formula. And you can apply this to every garment that you sketch.